Hi everyone, it's Lacey. Good morning or good evening. This is your daily bed stretch. Let's start with our hands, just our knees, sitting cross-legged. Tilt your head over to the right. Come up to center and tilt your head over to the left. Come back to center, and now we're just going to look right, and then look left, look right, and look left. One more time, look right, and look left. Come back to center, and this time you're going to tilt your head again to the right, but you're going to pull it down with your right hand. Now look down towards your right knee, grabbing the back of your head and gently pulling it down. Come back up to center, and now tilt your head over to the left, pulling your neck down with your left hand. And now look down to your left knee, grabbing the back of your head and gently pulling your head down. Come back up to center, lift your arms up above your head Clasp your hands together behind your head, and now look down, again gently pulling the back of your head down. Come back up, and now we're going to do a seated cat and cow stretch. So arch your back with your breath, and then arch it the other way. Use your hands on your knees to help you pull yourself into a deeper arch. Come back to center, now we're going to lean over to the right side, with your elbow down on the bed, and your left arm up and overhead, rolling your shoulder back. Come back to center, and now lean over to the left, with your left elbow down, your right arm up and over your head.
come back up and now you're going to keep your left leg bent and extend your right leg keep that leg nice and straight and now just fold forward over it trying to keep your back nice and flat here too Come up with just your upper body, keeping your legs where they are, and fold forward to the middle. Come up and bring that leg in. You're going to sit in a butterfly position so your feet will be touching and you're just going to flutter your knees. And now hold still. Press your elbows against your knees to push your hips down. You can hinge forward here so your back will be flat. No rounding of your spine. Now place your right hand on your right knee and try to push that knee down a little more, opening up your hip. Now switch and press against your left knee. Come up and extend your left leg out, keeping your right leg in, face your leg and fold forward over it. And release that and now come up so that you are sitting on your heels clasp your hands together push them forward and up over your head
Shift your weight onto your right hip and lean over to the left with your arms and upper body. Come up to center and now lean onto your left hip and reach over to the right with your arms and upper body. Come back up and unclasp your hands. And now you're going to lean again over onto your right hip. Cross your left arm across your body and your right arm up overhead. Try to pull yourself in opposite directions here a little bit. You're getting a twist as you're also getting a side body stretch. Come back up to center and now do that same thing on the other side. So right arm crosses over your body, left arm up over your head as you lean onto your left hip. Come down to laying on your belly and go onto your forearms. So you're in a sphinx pose. This is a very gentle stretch. You're going to feel it in your lower back. Now push yourself up and back into a child's pose. So your arms are reaching forward. You're sinking your hips back. Now start to round your spine as you come forward. And you're going to go up into a seal stretch. So arch your back and look up. And you're going to go back the opposite way. Back into child's pose. So arch, bend back into a seal, arch again, and back into child's pose. Do this a few more times at your own pace, using your breath to guide you. On your last time forward, go up into a seal stretch and hold it. Now crawl up onto all fours and you're going to place your right knee forward, your left leg straight behind you and come into a pigeon pose. Stay upright for a breath or two and then fold forward over your front leg.
come back up to kneeling. And now place your right knee forward and your left leg long behind you. Stay upright again for a couple of breaths. And then lean forward over your front leg. Come back up to kneeling and go into a frog position. So arms forward in front of you, legs out to the side, and just let your hips sink into the bed. Come back up out of that, again, into a kneeling position. We're going to go into puppy pose. So stretch your arms out in front of you, hips back, and you're going to sink your chest and shoulders down, keeping your hips up. So the stretch here is for your shoulders and upper back. Come up out of that and swing your legs forward in front of you. Two straight legs, pointed toes, arms up and overhead, and a reach towards your feet. Start pulling yourself down, starting with your hips, and then your belly, and then your chest, and then your upper back, and then your head. Try to stay as flat as possible. Come up, and now if you're doing this before bed, you can stay where you are. If you're getting up, try to scoot to the edge of your bed. Try to touch the floor if you can, if you're short like me, maybe not. And just start rolling your neck from side to side. Place your hands on the bed behind you. Start rolling your shoulders backward. And now forward.
Cross your right arm across your chest and pull it in with your left. And now switch to stretch your left arm. Release and take a final big stretch up and overhead with both arms. Thank you so much for doing this with me. I hope this made you feel great. Have a great rest of your day. Like and subscribe. We'll see you again.